What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before now before we get started with today's video, the road the road to 200 subs has now come to a close and we are now on the road to 500 subs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell, but as I have said in in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes of, to potentially pull... <clears throat> excuse me. To potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners at, at Collector's Store. On the hopes to, to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of this set. But it wouldn't be the first time that I will pull a collector's rare. Because I also got I also pulled this. <clears throat> you guys see it. B Cup from the Underworld Collector Rare from Genesis Impact that I did an opening on last year. This thing's this thing, thing is gonna be going up in price with the new with the new U Bell support and also with some of the other newer decks. Decks that are going to be in, in the format, definitely worth picking up. Obviously, yes, I am going to be getting this card graded, but I never really came up with a good opportunity to do so. But with that being said, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> with that being said, if you guys, if you guys want to see 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 those boxes get opened. Maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of, of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos. Or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. Excuse me. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 80% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys aren't even subscribed. And, excuse me. And, to top it all off, we gotta get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not, have not subscribed yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below, answer the question of the day, which is this. Which archetype would you guys like to see get new support in the future in 2024? Let me know down in the comments below. For me, for me, honestly, crazy as it sounds, as crazy as it sounds, definitely Black Wings. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. We just got new support in, in Darkwing Blast. Yes, we did, but... To be fair, to be fair, you can never have have too much too much new support. So for me personally, it's Black Wings, but I want your your guys' opinion. Let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> and speaking of new cards, we have new cards to talk about. But not just any new cards. They are free agent cards, and there's only, I believe, five of them in, in this video. One. Yeah, there's only five five of them, and it's base and it's almost like one from each like type of summoning ba basically. So 
I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to get straight into it. Kicking things off, we have Shiver Take. Which is... <sighs> Excuse me. Which is a 5-star light, light Thunder with 1,400 attack, 0 defense... And both of its effects are once per turn. And the first effect says, <clears throat> If a monster whose original type is Thunder is sent to is sent from your hand and or field to the grave, even during the damage step, you, you can special summon this card from your hand. Second effect reads, If a monster's effect is activated, Oh, if a Thunder monster's effect is activated in, in the hand, while you control this monster, you can, you can special summon one Shiver token, which will be... Which, which would be a one-star Dark Thunder with zero attack and defense. So, if I remember correctly, I believe we've gotten some Thunder cards. Some Thunder Dragon cards. Um, banned recently. I think Thunder, I think Colossus got banned. If my, if my memory serves correct... I don't remember. I think it did get banned. I'm going to have to take a look here here on the ban list. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Thunder Dragon Colossus got banned. Was there anything else for the Thunder that got hit? No, I think I think I think that that's just it. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty much it. Everything everything else is is legal. So, with with so even so, funny enough, even with Colossus banned, Thunder Dragon is actually still is actually still playable. Funny enough, and and the crazy thing is that Shiver Take can actually work well with with. With Thunder Dragons because of the fact that this card, it's it's a Cyber Dragon, and it also and and it's also token spam. You're literally spamming your board with tokens every every, every single chance chance you get, which is absolutely in which is absolutely insane for all intents and purposes. But what's but what's also interesting as well is that I believe the Thunder Dragons. I think there's a couple of fives in the archetype. In fact, I'm gonna go on Nexus and check it out because I believe that is the case. Let's see. Let's go to deck. Pick a random one. In which, in which I'm, in which I gotta go through these decks and figure out what needs to be updated, guys. This is gonna be insane. All right, so let's see. Here we are, Thunder Dragon Lord. Here, here we are, Thunder Dragon. What are the fives? Okay, so there are actually, there are actually only two five star, five star Thunder. For, for for the Thunder Dragon archetype. And there's the original Thunder Dragon and Thunder Dragon Dark. So I believe rank 5 wise, I believe there's actually quite a few rank 5s you can go into. Beside other than Cybernova. Because Cybernova, you can't you can't do Cybernova and then go into Cyber Infinity, because Cybernova is a re requires um uh, light machines. So let's see. Here we are, Thunder, and we'll go five. 
and search. Oh wait, hang on. Results. All. Yeah, there aren't any like five star thunders you can go into, honestly. I guess not. Um let's just, you know what? Let's take this out. And do any. Let's see what what, what we got for any. <clears throat> um uh Dvorak, King of Heavy in Industry, which is a pretty cool one. Um, Arc Rebellion. Uh, Gunkin Suship, if you, if, if you wanted to do, uh, Thunder, uh, uh, Thunder Suship, which is pretty, which would be pretty funny. Um. Uh, Super Quantum Mech Beast. Mag, um. Uh, Magna Liger, which is pretty funny. Um, let's see. What else could you do? Um, Wind Up, Wind Up Arsenal Zen Mayo, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Tyrus Keeper of Genesis. Adrius Keeper of Armageddon. Um, there's also Droll Driver Vespinato, which is Funny enough, it actually works with the digital with the digital bugs, which is kind of hilarious. Um, there's also uh, number fourteen, Greedy Saramaya, which actually is not too bad of a card. Funny enough, it's not too bad. Because uh, Stellar Pleiades, because there are some light, there are because they are light, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, Volcasaurus, Storm Driver. Uh, Infinite Track, uh, River Stormer, sorry. Um, Artifact, Dur uh, Durundle, uh, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. There's actually quite, quite a few rank fives that they can do, which is pretty cool. So, definitely worth, uh, worth picking up as far as that, that one Thunder Monster goes. The deck is, de is, is definitely worth considering playing again, but we don't know if the, if, um... It's it's it, it it's hard to say if the card will if this card will be actually be playable, but it'll be interesting to say the very least. But definitely worth uh worth looking into. But next up we have we have we have Disa Blaster the Matchless Turret. Which <clears throat> Which is a a five star light machine pendulum with with five hundred attack, two thousand defense, and its pen and its pen scale is five. The pendulum effect reads reads negate all cards and effects activated in this card's column. Basically, you have an imperm. You basically have 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 yourself an imperm, which is just too broken on on its own. But the monster effect it actually has three separate effects, and the first one is is a one is a once per turn, which reads you can special summon this card from your hand to a column with no cards. Basically, a cyber dragon, another form form of cyber dragon, and I think cyber dragon can actually use this card. Funny enough, uh, second effect reads. Read, negate all cards and effects activated in this card's call. Basically, it's the same as the Pendulum effect, which is hilarious. Um, so, you basically have yourself double Imperm. You basically have, have yourself double Imperm. Um, the third effect reads, if this card in, in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place it in your Pendulum zone. Okay. I mean, I'm, I mean being able to bounce it, bounce it, in, bounce it in, into your back row. Enough said. Excuse me. Nuff said. Not gonna say much about it. <clears throat> Next up, we have DPA Jean de Moore. I don't know who the fuck came up with that name, but but my man, my dude, shout outs to you. Whoever came up with that name, shout outs to you, my guy. 
Wait, but anyway, Demore is an 8-star Fire Cyber Synchro Tuner. Think about that. 8-star Tuner. Enough said. Enough said. 2,000 attack, 2,800 defense, and our car is a tuner and one or more non-tuner, so pretty, so extremely generic. Um, and it says that, uh, both, that both of its effects are, are once per turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the first effect reads, reads, if this card is, is synchro summoned, you can special summon one level 4 Cyber's monster from your grave in defense. But its effects are negated, and you cannot special summon monsters for the. You cannot special summon for for the rest of the turn except Cyber's monsters. Second effect reads: When your Cyber's monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent during battle with their monster, you can banish the card from your grave and inflict an equal amount of damage to them. Basically, it's an interesting way to 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 win games if you're if if your opponent is down is down to like less than two thousand. This is a, a really great way to end games right off the bat, which is insane. I will say, though, um, I will say, though, when you think, when you really think about it, <clears throat> when, when you, when you really think, think about it, there aren't a whole, a, a whole lot of monsters, a whole lot of synchro monsters that can do something like this. This is one of them. So definitely, definitely consider playing Cybers, um, like a synchro, like a Cyber Synchro, head like base deck, because this card might end up might end up coming up in a lot of your games. Just saying. Next up, we have we have her we have Heretico, Heretical. Phobo -sco -pho -pho Scobos? I am like butchering the name. I'm like butchering the name, but it's a rank 4 Dark Illusion Xyz. <clears throat> Excuse me. With 2100 attack, 1500 defense, and it requires 2 level 4 monsters, so pretty generic. And the first effect is a once per turn, which reads. Which reads, you, you can target one effect monster your, your opponent controls, negate its effects, then if it battled this turn, you can take control of it until the end phase. This is a quick effect if this card has has an, an illusion monster as material. Second effect reads, reads if this card battles a monster, neither, neither can be destroyed by that battle. Okay, I mean, being able to protect protect both both itself and the opponent's monster from being destroyed is not bad. <clears throat> is not bad. But what's even more funny funny is that is that you can use its first effect to ensure that that your that your opponent's monsters get destroyed, which is pretty crazy. Not I'm not really gonna say a whole a whole lot about it, except this card might end up being being probably probably one of the most expensive cards in the set upon release. <clears throat> Excuse me. As far as what we can expect out of that card, honestly, oh, honestly, pretty much any deck in the format might you know could could use it. Maybe maybe Infernoble Knight. Like if you had, had did an an illusion, like Infernoble Knight type type of strategy that could come up that could potentially come up and now for the last card to talk about in this video it is known as astral world tree illumistil weird name totally get it it's a weird name totally weird name and funny enough, I think I think as well the Xyz monster, uh, Mathmech. Mathmech is is another one that that can definitely that can definitely um can definitely use can definitely abuse the Xyz monster. But but with that being said, the Link monster is a Earth plant Earth plant Link five. 
<clears throat> excuse me, with 2,000 attack, and its arrows arrows are are top left, left, bottom left, bottom, bottom right, and it requires three or more effect monsters, and it has three separate effects. Which the and the first effect reads: you can only control one copy of of Astral World Tree Il Illumistil. Okay. Enough said, enough said on that. Second effect reads, reads each time your, your opponent special summons a monster face up during the main phase, you gain life points equal to its attack. Okay, not bad. Third effect reads, once per turn, as a quick effect, you can pay life points in multiples of 1,000, max 3,000. This card gains an, gains an equal amount of attack. Um... Yeah, giving your giving this card five thousand attack, give making this monster five thousand attack. Um, enough said. Ex n enough said. This is gonna definitely change how people build decks because what they're because what they're gonna end, end up doing is is they're gonna end up using car having cards like skill drain and um and um. Uh, for uh, Forbidden Droplet and um, Imperm in their main decks instead of their in instead instead of their side decks because I know that within the last like couple of year years or so cards like Forbidden Droplet, Skill Drain, Imperm, and pretty much and also Effect Mailer have been have been known to be more side deck worthy, but with but with a card like this, they're definitely you they're definitely gonna it's better suited to have them in the main rather than in the side, because because if your opponent summons summons this card turn one and you have let's say an effect veiler, once you drop that veiler on them, what are they what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? You know, so definitely definitely consider that but with that being said guys that will do it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more card discussions in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and follow me on all of my social media my ads will be in the description below as will the info to my fan mail it will also be in the description as well and on that this is your boy nash Signing out.